Hello, I'm Dan. I'm Grace. And I'm Boutram. And today we will discuss the role that fuss protein plays in the neurodegenerative disease ALS. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, is a progressively fatal disease that affects about 20,000 Americans every single year. ALS is characterized by the formation of plaques and spinal nerves that cause loss of neural function and eventual cell death. One such hypothesis for the molecular basis of ALS comes from the breakdown and regulation of the fusion sarcoma protein, also known as FUS. FUS is a ubiquitously expressed, primarily a nuclear protein involved in DNA repair, transcription regulation, RNA splicing, and RNA nuclear exports. Examinations done on the spine of patients who have died from ALS reveal abnormal amounts of aggregated FUS. Due to this finding, significant resources have been directed towards understanding how FUS is regulated in the cell and what goes wrong in patients who develop ALS. The prevailing theory for how FUS causes ALS concerns a breakdown and alternative splicing of exon 7 of FUS pre-mRNA. Evidence for this theory comes from protein interaction studies which have shown that there are multiple locations where FUS combine to both exon 7 and its flanking introns. This is shown by the multiple peaks in the figure correlating with exon 7. This protein mRNA interaction has been linked with an increase in the alternative splicing of exon 7 from the FUS pre-mRNA. Comparison of the black bars when FUS concentrations are low with gray bars when FUS concentrations are high show that high FUS concentrations produce more RNAs where exon 7 has been spliced out. When exon 7 is spliced out, this results in the implementation of a premature stop codon in the RNA transcript. This aberrant RNA is then recognized by the cell as a nonsense mediated decay mechanism and destroyed as shown in the figure above. Based on this data, scientists have hypothesized that FUS autoregulates itself through controlling alternative splicing of exon 7. When FUS concentrations are low, splicing of pre-mRNA proceeds normally. Exon 7 is included in the final mRNA product, which is translated to produce FUS protein. However, when FUS concentrations in the nucleus are high, FUS binds to exon 7 and the flanking introns of the pre-mRNA, causing exon 7 to be spliced out. The exon 7 deficient mRNA variant is then destroyed in a nonsense mediated decay mechanism, preventing further expression of FUS. Thus, FUS regulates itself through a negative feedback loop mechanism, ensuring that too much FUS is not produced. However, in patients with ALS, mutations caused from mislocalization of FUS and thus a breakdown in this regulatory mechanism. Most mutations causing ALS have been found in the nuclear localization signal of FUS. This is a problem because mutated FUS is unable to be recognized by IMPORTANT, the protein responsible for nuclear imports. This is shown in this figure, where FUS, shown in green, is no longer contained within the blue nuclei in patients with ALS, thus showing mislocalization. Due to mislocalization of FUS mutants to the cytoplasm, the FUS autoregulatory pathway breaks down. Now when excess FUS is produced, FUS travels to the cytoplasm and is unavailable to bind to exon 7 in the nucleus. Exon 7 thus remains in the post-modified mRNA, allowing for mutated FUS to keep on being produced. Since the production of mutated FUS is not controlled, over time FUS begins to accumulate in the cytoplasm and form dangerous aggregates as showcased by the picture on the right. A possible treatment based upon this data concerns the use of antisensitive leukonucleotides. FUS ASOs, as they are called, target the junction of intron 6 and exon 7 and have been shown to restore alternative splicing of exon 7 and reduce FUS concentrations in vitro. Another possible treatment involves the engineering of cap beta 2, the important for FUS. Efforts have been made to create a variant of cap beta 2 that can bind and import mutated FUS into the nucleus. These two molecules target different parts of the ALS disease pathway, but both offer promising therapeutic methods for the treatment of ALS in the future. Much research still remains to be conducted in this field. While FUS has been linked to ALS, scientists are still not completely sure on exactly how FUS aggregates within the cell, with insignificant evidence to prove whether it is a loss of function in the nucleus, gain of function in the cytoplasm, or a combination of both that leads to neuron death. Additionally, there may be multiple causes for ALS. Other molecules including proteins such as TD43 or RNAs such as C9, ORF, 72 have also been linked to patients with ALS, thus producing their own disease mechanism pathways. If we are able to come up with a cure for ALS and other neurodegenerative diseases, it will be done by research that helps us to elucidate what is happening in the cell at the most basic molecular levels of biochemistry.